We live right now. This is our first one. This is, this is it. This is it. Oh man, can I love seeing that lotion in there? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Oh my god. That's crazy. Um, this is what we do. What was we talking about, man? Man. <laughs> um, you know what? I think it was uh you was talking about how Bob Proctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That was it was just crazy when I read that part when Bob Proctor was just talking about how people just they treat God like he's a, a genie. Like yeah. you know, like, oh, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need you to help me get out of this. Yeah. And it's just like you put yourself right there, though. Yeah. It's like you put yourself there. So, exactly. and it's like he get. The thing is, people don't realize that we have the the power to change our own situation. We put ourselves there. And it's like you know what I'm saying. We actually put ourselves there. And so, I just thought it was crazy when you were saying because I was just talking about that, and then. He, he, the, his message was saying the same thing that I was saying. And I'm like, that's what I be trying to say, but he, it was like he put it in his word. It was in his words, though. So. Right. I was like, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. So I'm like, but these are like this random truths that come to me, you know, I, during meditation and stuff like that, and you know, when I'm just yeah. chilling. But I'm just like, this stuff is like people should know about this stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's. It's just crazy, like, people just sit in their situations and they just, oh yeah, God can get me out of this. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's not how it works. Like, you know, he, he was talking about how you have to still do your part. Mm -hmm. You have to still, um, in order for, we like saying when you believe something, this is what the power of prayer, like even yeah. it breaks down the science yeah. of the power of prayer. Cause what it is, you're, you're a signal, you're like a, a station and whatever thought you have sends out signals to people yeah. around you and like for situations, anything is yeah. they're gonna attract whatever frequency you are. All right. And I was like, the way that he said, I was like, that's exactly what I be saying. Like, mm -hmm. it's 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 just like once you understand that, then it's like, okay, I need to watch the way I'm thinking, thinking, and the way that you. Or presenting yourself mm -hmm. to people, right? Because like, if you don't think, like, you could just be a negative, super negative person, and you just think like, you know, it's what it is, whatever, mm -hmm. it is, whatever. You're just gonna take this as it goes, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, people are just you're attracting bad people, mm -hmm. that, you know, toxic people. Right. You attracting stuff you don't want, situations right. you don't want, and then you just in a cycle of this old stuff. And this is like, you know, it's. You, but you got the whole will and the power to change. That's the mm -hmm. thing is, is what he's saying. Is the message is mm -hmm. we can't just be so helpless. Right. Like we right. have all the means to do right. it. It's like an excuse. Right. It's an excuse. Right. To not actually try because people are scared of failing. Hey. That's what. It's wild, bro. Mm. And that's in. You can't not fit. Failing is a part of life. Mm -hmm. It's in. It's what life is gonna be. It's gonna be failures. So it's like people have to get out of that mindset that you can't avoid. Can't just you can't afford, avoid failure right. just because you're scared you're gonna fail. It's right. not even really failing. It's just trying to get to the next part. That's it. It's like it's Literally. that simple. But Literally. it's it's that simple. Yeah. And he said sometimes it's. it's it's half and half. So one half is spiritual. Right. But the other half you actually have to put in have action. To put in, you gotta put action. in the work. Exactly. You gotta put in the work. Exactly. And if you don't put in the work then Then what then what is it's just a, it's just a dream. It's a dream that, oh, <laughs> it's uh, just a dream. What was the word he said? He said uh wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. It's wishful thinking. If you if you don't do anything but think that it's gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Like that's wishful thinking. Right. That's exactly that's why I'm, yeah, man. Wishful thinking, bro. That's it. That's all it is. It's just a, like a dream. It's a dream without a goal. If you don't have a goal, how are you gonna get it? Because the thing is, manifestation isn't just making making stuff appear. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's actually becoming 
what you would need to be to make it happen. Mm -hmm. You have to be in congruence with That's when the universe will say, oh, oh, he for real. Yeah. Then you're going to start sending people your way, the right people, situations, opportunities your way. And you'll be like, oh, dang, like, so I'm doing this right. Like, I, it's like you're, be you're becoming what you're supposed to be. To, you're, you're doing everything in your power that you have to do. And then the rest comes. Yeah. The rest comes. Man. It's 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 crazy, man. It's yeah. it's so simple. Is that the so is that how you first started getting into um like the self self development? Yeah, I think um I, the first time I did was 2017, and I was like I was in my room and uh, I was playing this video game. <laughs> 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 Bro, I was playing so this. you started off by playing. I was game. playing a Final Fantasy <laughs> video game, and in this, the the episode or the, the game was talking about it has these paradigms. Mm -hmm. You can switch your powers up, and it's dope. You, you got to learn how to switch it in the middle of battle. So nice. it, it, it was super fun, and I was trying to figure out how to get this one paradigm. It was it was hidden. You got to find it, mm -hmm. and so I went on Google, and I'm like, all right, I got to figure it out. You know, trying to go on on yeah. YouTube or whatever. And I'm looking for the video to show me how to get it, and then this Bob Proctor video popped up, popped up and it said, uh, it's shifting your paradigm. And I was like, what? man, that's not what I was looking for. And so, I don't know, forgot about the video game. Yeah. I clicked on this thing, I'm like, what is this? Because in the, in the caption, it says something about changing your life with your subconscious, something like that. And I'm like, okay. So I clicked on it, and I was like, it's a white guy. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> this is old white dude. It's like, what is going on, bro? Like, he, like in a suit, yeah. and he, he looked like a pastor, but he's not a pastor. <laughs> like, what is going on here? And I'm just like, okay. So I, I start listening to him, and he was just like, you can change your entire life by changing your subconscious. <laughs> I was like, this dude is crazy. What are you talking about? And, you know, I sat there and I ended up, I gave it a list. Yeah. I listened to the rest. It was like an hour long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just talking about, you know, your subconscious is what causes you to do what you do every single day. Mm -hmm. like, okay. I'm like, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Like, so one thing started to make sense. And then mm -hmm. another thing he said made sense. I'm like, oh, he might be, hold up. He might be on to something. And he was just basically saying like, um, yeah, your subconscious is all programmed from when you was a kid. You learned all these things from your parents, mm -hmm. and they were doing the best they could, but yeah. they only could give you what they got. And you just, you adopt it, and mm -hmm. but you hold on to that. It's the same values you held on to as a kid, mm -hmm. and they don't serve you no more because of where you are now. Mm -hmm. And so it's learning how to let go of that old program, and he was like saying, you got to reprogram like how do you reprogram mm -hmm. your mind mm -hmm. that don't make i don't it, it, at the time yeah. that was five years ago i didn't even understand Dang. what he was saying and i was just searching for a video game yeah. like how, to, how to you know get my little character on my, mm -hmm. on my video game and then i come across bob proctor but that's to show you like the the universe was seeing you things even when you're not even trying like right. you're trying to do something else and it's yeah. like nah, nah this is what come you back. did um, yeah. look, read, look, check this yeah. out. I looked at it, and that was my first self help anything. Really, mm -hmm. that's the first thing I read or I seen. I was like, okay, I never heard of this guy before. And, and yeah, but that was the seed. That was the seed. Yeah. That was the seed moment. Mm -hmm. And then I come full loop back to Bob Proctor. And we was talking about mm -hmm. it uh, when uh, last year when yeah. we was up there in in, uh, in Frisco. In Frisco, yeah. And so then I remember um, you said Bob Proctor. I was like Bob Proctor. I know that guy. <laughs> I know that guy from somewhere. And then I checked again. I was like, no, it, it, it came back full circle. Mm -hmm. And because um, I, I I watched uh, this podcast guy on um, YouTube named Aaron Dowdy. He's like mm -hmm. a spiritual guy. Yes. Yeah. And in there, he was talking about Think and Grow Rich. And I was like, I keep hearing about this book. And once, since he talked about it, I was like, all right, I think that's time to read mm -hmm. it. And then Napoleon Hill, then I hear about Bob Proctor. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Like they were connected. And I'm mm -hmm. like, 
full circle. Mm-hmm. It's full, from the first seed, it came right. And but he was the first uh, kind of like piece of work mm-hmm. with self help, and then I got me into reading my first self help book, The Magic of Big Thinking. Oh man, yeah. Um, I came across that after I got into Bob Proctor again and start. I randomly decided to walk into this bookstore. And I just get guided to the back. Yeah. I just like get guided to go to the back, and then and that's the self help section. Damn. And, and I seen the magic of big thinking. I got that one, and I got um, the Twelve Gates of Enlightenment, Everyday Enlightenment. That's like a real good book too. But um, the magic of big thinking was the first one I did, and that's how it all began. <laughs> I'm say, you said that this started five years ago. Five years ago. Wow. And because like one of my dreams was to live in California, mm-hmm. like to have my own place in California, and here it is five years later. Wow. So how how long? So were you meditating to at, around that time? Um, mm-hmm. So around that time, mm-hmm. I wasn't. I didn't really start meditating until um, my last job. That's the, the that's when I first started meditating. Mm-hmm. Started. To, I got on these different meditations that you talked about. Right. These money meditations. I, I thought that it was like I thought it was voodoo. Cap. I thought it was cap. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was cap. I was like, this is cap, bro. This is so cap. Like, come on. You trying to sell us something? Yeah. Like, this is cap. Yeah. And so <laughs> a scheme. I swear, so, I, like a straight scheme. So like, I'm like, okay. I started doing it out because uh, I needed to make a certain amount of mm-hmm. sales. And I was just starting. I was like, I want to start out strong, mm-hmm. and so I started doing money meditation when I was at this job. It was like a sales job, mm-hmm. and I, I the first month I got three sales, and I was like, wow, okay, dang. I was like, okay, um, let me do this. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing it even more. Yeah, like, I would just do this. Was just me from me doing it. Um, like right before work, mm-hmm. like I could picture, I picture myself making the sales, and I'd do it every time. Every wow. time it would be the, I, it would be like a walk, a random walk in, or it'd be like someone just fell and mm-hmm. is in the hospital. They need to come somewhere for however long. I, it would be random. Like I, whenever I would need it, I would get it. You did. I would get it every single time. And I was, I was doing these meditations, and people would be like, "What are you?" I wasn't like, doing no type of extra work. Not at all. I was not doing extra marketing. I was not doing none of that. I was it not, bro. I was still alive. I would, I, it was all that meditation. Yeah. I'm telling you, because I was leading the sales, like, <laughs> I was leading the sales in the whole West region. Dang. And, bro, I'm telling you, like, this stuff really works. Like, this stuff really works. I was, I was astounded when I started. I, I made an eight, mm-hmm. eight moving sale for the money. That was like $4,000. I made wow. four rounds off of that. And I, that was like the biggest month that anyone had ever had. Yeah. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just like, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I'm making my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was doing everything I was supposed to do. I was doing the, just that, mm-hmm. what I was supposed to do, you know, and I made, I made um, good relationships with mm-hmm. like, the, the, um, eight other agents mm-hmm. and stuff. And, Make connections, mm-hmm. and then it was this autopilot. I was not doing nothing besides my normal making my phone calls. You know, maybe go on a couple of lunches with a couple mm-hmm. of clients. But other than that, I yeah. was not doing no extra work, and it was just coming. How long would you meditate for? I would go every morning, and every night. So on the way to work, I would do it. But then what changed everything is when I started to do it, like listen to these uh, like affirmations and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, at night when I'm sleeping, like just have it playing, like just right there. I put it next to my pillow, not too close. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like you know, now, you I, want like, the radio the, I don't want it. Yeah, I can't like it can't be right in my ear. Yeah. But just like some b- background sound to where it's like just right, not mm-hmm. too lo- not too loud, but it's in your subconscious. Mm-hmm. And I just started doing that every single night. Every single, and that's when it's just, like, it's it started to change. Like, I was getting money from everywhere. <laughs> I'm not even playing, like, bro. I was getting money from everywhere. I was like, I'll get a random check. Somebody I didn't even talk to would give me some money. I'm just like, how often would you? So, in the course of 
what was it five days um i would say oh that all this happened mm-hmm. yeah <sighs> yeah this is all in the same like yeah like three days wow some of then it would, it would happen weekly like different things would happen mm-hmm. and i'm like this was not this type of stuff was not happening mm-hmm. before like not even i was struggling for money yeah when i first I, I, i'm telling you bro I, I was like i was like some i gotta do something yeah you know, when i first moved to cali i was like it was good but then i was like i'm not making enough money mm-hmm. yeah i'm like but that that was my thought i'm not making enough money mm-hmm. i need to be making mm-hmm. the business and this and this and that's what i mean that's when i was like that's right. what kept you down Exactly. I did, that was my mindset. Mm-hmm. It was, I'm attracting more debt. I'm attracting because it seemed like I borrowed money from this person to pay this person back, and I still have to pay these bills. And I'm like, oh, that leaves me a hundred bucks for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that type of stuff. And it's like, and then you stressed out, and you gotta wait for the next check. Mm-hmm. The next check going as soon as you get it. And mm-hmm. so it's like, just surviving. You mm-hmm. know? But now, you know, I since I got into the right mindset, like the debt that I was in then. It's like dissipating. It's it's pretty much gone now. Yeah, like it's I, a blessing. You know what I mean? Like sure. the right things came my way when I changed my mind, decided mm-hmm. to make a decision, and when I started doing these meditations and changing my mindset. It started as early as when before I moved. Mm-hmm. You know, because I was getting opportunities when I started doing these meditations and stuff. Because I was like, you know what? I remember when Bob Proctor said, "Change your par- paradigm. You can have anything you want." And one thing I wanted to do was be a marketing salesman. I wanted to be, I, wanted, I saw it, somebody do it, and I said, that's what I want to do, and I want to do it in California. And I got that. That's what I was doing for two years. Yeah. And it was, and it's like, it's a lot harder to get to those when, from where I came from. Because I was in the, um, I was in the kitchen. Like, I was, uh, all through college, I worked mostly server jobs, cook jobs. Like, that's mostly what I did. Right. So I didn't have no experience in, like, Physical experience. Mm-hmm. Even I can, I'm competent enough to just learn. Mm-hmm. Like I can mm-hmm. learn anything, but you know, on paper, I was not looking like I could do that. Mm-hmm. You know, and 